back to my channel. My name is Vivian, and if you're just joining for the first time, you're welcome. Um, it's another episode of Metro Chat, and um, we're going to be talking about relationship checklist with my friends. Uh, so I want you to introduce yourself. Um, yeah. Yeah, my name is uh, Agbeto Mabatunde. I'm an health economist. I uh, currently I work in the College of Education, and uh, I also own a blog, uh, Agemo Diary Blog Spot, uh, where from people about their well-being, about life, about things they need to improve on, and how to do something to be depression. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for so much for agreeing to be on the show. Yeah, so today we'll be talking about an interesting topic, um, relationship checklist. And yeah, so um, first question is, um, do you think it's necessary to have like a checklist? Ooh, you know, um, Sometimes uh, for for a relationship, it's, it's not just about the relationship, about the, it's about the life being involved in the relationship. So yes, it is necessary for you for you to have a checklist. You know, some some people checklists are so ambiguous. So sometimes when putting your checklist together, you need to understand that uh, the person you are dealing with also has a checklist. So the first question you have to ask yourself is, if I have a checklist, um, I'm expecting someone to fill it. They also fill someone else's checklist. No, 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 there's no relation you want to go into. You must make sure that it's a checklist. Yes, checklist is important. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what exactly now? What exactly now do you think um a checklist is supposed to contain? Like, what do you write in the checklist? Is it or oh, everything you want? Some that beautiful, this one, that one, this one. So, what exactly should be in your checklist? <laughs> Back some time ago, when I was in maybe late secondary school, that means late class in secondary school. Mm. And um, I was like, okay, if I if I'm going to supposed to, if I'm supposed to go into a relationship with somebody, this is what I want. She must be foolish, her leg must be straight, she must be this, she must be that, she must be intelligent. You know. So but no, during those period, I failed to ask myself that um do I also have these qualities that if someone says, Okay, I want someone, I want the guy, I actually want a guy. Do I really do I have this quality of saying this is the guy I truly want? So but before I put it, I would like to say that checklist is something, checklist is like a list or importance of list of importance of things that you need or that you are open to see in someone else or you are going to find in someone else. So sometimes if you're not careful, if you don't have some of these qualities, you can't you can't you can't mm-hmm. get what you don't have. I don't know, you can't attract what you don't have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't if you can't attract what you don't if you don't have it, you can't attract it. So the first thing is Build yourself to emotion or, or to a situation whereby you have that thing. If you have that thing at that particular time, then trust me, there's nothing you want to do. There's nothing you want to have. You're going to get it. I like that. I like that because um, a lot of people just um, try to like project um, things on other people. You understand? Not looking at their own, their own self that, okay, this is, am I actually worthy? You understand? Am I actually there? Yeah, am I my spec spec? You understand? <laughs> One of my mentors will say, say that, you say uh, everybody's selfish. Mm-hmm. If, mm. if not properly guided, everybody seems to be selfish. Just like the same way I want uh, a third dollar daughter. Uh, the question is, do a dollar daughter want me? Mm-hmm. That's the question we need to find out mm. ourselves. So sometimes we overhype or we overhype ourselves to the extent that what we want does not want for us. That's it. That's, over- that's being overhyped. The that. <laughs> that's being rich in overhype. Yes, we overhype ourselves. And most things, what we want technically, do not really want us. So I think at the point, if, for the fact that we have maybe one to ten checklists, at least for an individual, for an individual, you have to make sure that you have at least eight out of the ten. If not, if not, let's say seven. It's mm. eight might be too much. So let's say it must at least seven over ten. Imagine I'm, I, I'm seven over ten. I, I'm, I'm sure that okay, maybe after somebody this also I'll be about five. Do you get? So no matter how you want to build a checklist, I, I, of course, as a guy, you want a beautiful lady. As a guy, you want a lady that is clean and neat. As a guy, you want a lady that is independent. But the question we need to ask ourselves as a guy, I'm talking from guy perspective now, is that, mm-hmm. ah, what level I am, how handsome I am. Okay, the question is, am I clean? Am I neat? Okay, how do I walk? What do I put on? What do I do? This? How do I, how do I speak? How do I act in public? Mm-hmm. So if, by the time we need to put some of these checklists together as a guy, trust me, no, no, there's no lady that's going to say nice guy. That will not, that will not, that will not fall. <laughs> that will not fall for this person. Yeah, I get it. Um, so, like, what if, right now, we're talking about, like, checklists and stuff like that. So, um, like, what if the person you're with, like, your partner doesn't meet, like, your checklist, or the person you're talking to, doesn't meet, 
like your checklist? What are you going to do? Are you going to compromise? Are you going to leave the person? Or are there, are there levels to the checklist? Do you have like, oh, this one must be standard. Somebody must have this one. You know, I've heard of um, things. Okay, just say your own and I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay. Um, uh, like I said, I, I'm very choosy. Let me just myself as a, as a case study here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very choosy. Uh, I'll tell you, I want to live that is beautiful, intelligent, mm -hmm. smart. As mm -hmm. it's a lady that can think beyond wherever she is. Uh, except the situation whereby, you know, everybody has different emotions when going to a relationship. Okay, if, if it's a relationship that, okay, that, is, that you want to be worthwhile, so there must be a level at which you ask questions. You must ask, okay, this is this, even before asking the lady out, you must know some, some certain things about that lady. It's so sure that you ask those questions. It makes you understand where you fit in and where she fits in in you. So I think first, asking questions is key. People can be from except, like I said, except everybody has different motion of going to a relationship. Okay, so let's family. let's get personal now. What is more important to you in choosing a partner? What is important? What are you looking at? Ah, <laughs> when you see this thing, that this is no deal breaker for you. Like when you when you see it, you're like, oh, okay, let's stop. This is it. <laughs> you have nothing. <laughs> let, 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 let me be sincere. You must be fair. Ah. Mm. That's fair. Once you are fair, you are educated. I don't mind. I don't mind the level of your education. I mm. just want you to be a little bit to at least to have a little level of education. Mm. But, like I said, you must. I think you are not going to put like oh, physical attribute because not right now it's just like when you see fairly legs now, you yeah, are yeah, yeah, gone. <laughs> you are gone. I want to ask you I just asked before that, okay, um, what do you think about physical attributes? Like, do you think it's very important? But right now, to you, it's like, it's important. Physical attributes and stuff like that. Because being fair enough is basically the thing. Okay, um, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me make a little explanation. When I say someone that is fair, <laughs> I'm not category, generally categorizing everybody that is fair. I'm mm. saying a fairly, I, I get attracted easily. But personal self will now determine how attracted I'm going to get. Mm. So the first thing that draws you closer is the physical now, attraction. Do you understand? Physical attraction and what keeps yes. the relationship yes. is your personality and yes. whatever other attributes you have. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So um yes, let's, let's talk about like you no know, in Nigeria everybody was talking about ah husband material, husband material, wife material, wife material, wife material, this one. So yeah, so um <laughs> so what exactly or who exactly is wife material slash husband material? <laughs> um like I said, I'm gonna speak for myself. Naturally, every guy wants a lady that's independent. But what we think in is that um she should be, if, if not 100% independent, at least to a level of understanding. Not someone that say, who wants to buy on this and say, hey guy, I, I want to buy this. Not someone that say, I want to buy this. I want this. I expect the guy to get it. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. Now, there's one secret that I'm, I'm going to tell you is that some of us as a guy, sometimes what we see as a lady, as a materialistic or a, a wife material this time around is that. Um, you celebrate little wins with us. So do you think there's a difference between wife material versus um, girlfriend material? Mm. Like, do you think they're different? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <How different? laughs> What's the difference between girlfriend material but, or wife material? But it, it, it's the girlfriend material that we... Of, okay, okay let, 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 let me make it. Let me, make, let, me, let, me, let me explain. It is the girlfriend material that we upgrade to wife material. Okay, Not like we, we, we personal as a guy. So, I mean, oh, I'm you will upgrade the girlfriend material. material to wife material. Okay, yeah, uh, there's, a, there's a time of being in a relationship with a lady whom we think, okay, we might get settled or we might not get settled. But at, at that time, she's just a girlfriend material. At that time, she's just a girlfriend material. She's just a, a lady that, okay, we just want to spend some time together. Okay, let's see how things work. Everybody, everybody, I think a lot of people do that. Let's see how things work. Let's see how it grows. Let's keep let's make it grow. But uh, at the long run, you are like, ah, I, I can't marry this person. No, I can't. This person does not work. No, no, I, I can't. This person, this so, person, every, like, what you say now, every girlfriend, girlfriend material cannot be wife material? No, not all. No, no, no. Ah, no. Some of them will still remain as girlfriend material. 
depending on how you develop. So if you don't develop yourself, you might that lady might not graduate work. Okay, so let us help people. Same as guys. Let, us, let us help people that want to graduate from boyfriend slash girlfriend material to husband slash wife material. So what do you think? Supposed what, to have, what, yeah. Yeah. So what kind of um, attributes do you think they're going to have to graduate <laughs> to being a um, personal material slash wife material? For me, I think um, for 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 anyone who wants to move from who wants to move from being understanding that uh, there's a level of husband uh, of boyfriend material to husband material or vice versa, is need to understand that first as a guy, I, I'll speak from a guy's perspective. First, as a guy, you have to. Do Develop yourself. It's 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 a must. You must. Mm-hmm. It, it does. It doesn't really mean about education. It's not until you go to school and have degrees, have a masters, have a PhD. No, it's not that. Because even what what we're taught in school is not what we practice in real life. So the first question you need to ask yourself is, how how have I developed myself in the last two to three years? Second question is, am I responsible? You see, it's not just the Mommy or my mommy or my daddy said this. Not about the fact that at this level of my life, I want to be responsible towards some things. I need to this to set up myself. I need to do this. A lady will a lady wants to set up for someone who is responsible, who understand that okay, at this point, I, let me just say sorry. At this point, I need to say sorry. At this point, I'm wrong. I accept I'm wrong this time around. Okay, let me work towards being a better person. Not someone who feels that eh, oh, we get there. Well, where are we getting there? We don't get there. We are not getting anywhere. Anywhere. We must start working. From today, okay, the general one is who wants to be the guy that does not even know how to pray? Nobody, and that's the truth. So, if you don't develop yourself in some of these areas, you have to make your you remain on that level of boyfriend. It, it looks like it's the only lady they use and jump. No, sometimes they use guys and jump them. No, it doesn't seem like that because it's always like, oh, the girls are the one that is always at the end taking all the jabs and the insults. Uh-uh. At least you are dumb, you. <laughs> so, yeah, but like, um. Um, no, no. Do you think that the, um, what's name, there is a lot of pressure for Nigerian women generally to be more of a wife material than the pressure to for for guys to be like an husband material or something? Because we're living in a society uh, where anything guys, where anything a guy does, people don't really count. Like, ah, he's a man, he's a man. But every mistake, everything that a girl or a lady does is like, oh, yeah, we all are uh, husband and wife material, then yeah, or something like that. They start insulting those kind of things. So, like, do you think the pressure is there for ladies to be more of a wife material thing? Like, you must cultivate that thing. If you're not a wife, you're not a woman. You know, that kind of thing. So, I you think the pressure mm-hmm. is there, though? Yes. Um, sincerely, the pressure is there. Now, that's where the issue of personal development. Um, if, if, you are, if you are personally developed yourself to a level, you won't let the pressure put you down. But as a lady this time around, let's say but as a lady this time around, you need to understand that uh, this is 21st century. Like I tell some people sometimes, I tell people, um, it's not all of us to get all of us will not get married, and that's sincere truth. Honestly speaking, not everybody's gonna get married. But the truth is that let us all strive to be a better person. Mm. Yes, we all want children, nobody wants child out of wedlock, nobody except from those, maybe people. Some people want maybe baby mamas to say or baby papas, some people want to get married, but at the same time. Now, in the area of you preparing yourself to get married, develop yourself. Don't let what people say pull you down. People will use your mistake against you. When they when they say some when they say something about your mistakes, don't worry, just move. Just continue developing yourself. Just develop the right guy. The guy will understand that the pressure is high. The guy will understand that you are the best for him. The guy will understand that yes, this this lady is hot cake. Yeah, she, she's a spare. She's a lady that hot cake. He will stay. No, no guy wants to see a, 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 a lady that, that is spec. Let me put that way. That is spec or other kick. I don't want to stay. Yeah, so I, I like that. I like that. So I was talking about like, okay, let me just look at it from the girl's perspective as I have been looking for husband material. <laughs> I think when I say husband material, I am looking for uh, someone that understands. You understand? Someone that has like a sense of, um, a sense of self. You get <laughs> and what's me and um yeah. and be real with yourself, you understand? Don't be faking it, don't be doing ah, I want to please you, I want to do this, be yourself and be responsible, like you said, be responsible, be accountable too. Um you, you cannot just live this life alone, you cannot love the doing baby boy life and be and, and be thinking you're going to get like a, a wife. Like before you know a lot of guys 
that are around now because this generation is just weird. <laughs> like a lot of guys now, you see them, they want to like the, the way they make ladies feel right now is just like oh, everybody was supposed to be the same. Nobody has class anymore. Everybody's just doing ratchet, ratchet, ratchet because of the world, because of the world. You understand? So and a lot of guys um push even the good girls. If we push them to be like bad girls, you understand? And people believe that oh, when they are mad, people cannot marry you and stuff like that. And um, so it's very hard for guys to understand that okay, if you want a lady, treat her like a lady. Don't be treating her like or don't make her um, don't bring her down to the extent that she doesn't see herself as a responsible or a classy lady that she has to come down to your level. If you and let let her you don't marry her again because you're like ah. Ele, you, okay, she is this, she's bad. She's this, she's this, she's that. So you want, yes, now everyone will go back to the village. Everyone will not, it's true, I don't need to go back to the village and marry you because, like, oh, all these people now, they are, they are so wild for me. And you don't actually know these people to be wild, you understand? Um, do you think personality is important to you in um, your relationship to check it? Personality? Yes, yes, yes. Personality, personality is important. How, how, do you, how do you carry yourself? Who are you? What would you say about your absential? It's, it's key. Oh my God. So yeah, in conclusion, um, I think, uh, let me just tell you guys what I feel like should be in your um, relationship checklist. I think everybody should supposed to have um, a preference. I mean, they call it in terms, I don't know, but like a must have list, you understand? This person must have this particular thing. You must have like a yeah. should have list that you, you don't mind. You don't mind um, compromising on some stuff for this person. You must have like a would like to have what you what you wish for. You understand when you're writing the list. Be be only present with yourself, and um, I think being like, authentic with yourself is actually the key, so that you and personally know what you want, know what fits you, and um, so that when you're writing your list, you when you see someone that picks that box, you're able to tick it. I'm not not be doubting that. Okay, you will like say this person get this one. Well, I'm not sure. Be like say I like this one, but I'm not sure. Be very, sure. very, yeah, be very sure of whatever, um, yeah. yeah, be clear about whatever you're writing down, you understand, and be very realistic about it, and, and uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's basically it, and also have a checklist for yourself also, I like what you said about you, um, checking yourself first, because it's not, it's two people coming together, um, to form, like, a good thing, you understand, mm -hmm. so, if you, if the guy or the person, your partner is, it's good. It's like maybe person even fit everything in your checklist, and you are like maybe two on the person's checklist. The relationship is going to fail, and it's not looking like it's not looking yeah, like yeah. Ah, the person is too is too good to be true. No, I'm just not telling tell you. The person is too good to be true. Who that too good to be true? You have to be careful there. Not mean that you're the one. It's true. Not mean that you're the one at fault. You know, I feel the same energy. You understand? And um, I think that's basically what I want to say. Do you have any other thing to add to it? Yeah, when you do your check, you need to understand the person you are dealing with also has uh, a flaws, a level of intelligence, or competence, love, trust, and the likes. She also has long lang love languages that you need to understand some of these things. So, in the area of self development, every guy should put this into consideration. You know, you must understand you have committed, you have to sometimes you do things that will not favor you. So, you need to understand those, some of those things because, uh, like I tell, like, 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 like I tell people sometimes, no matter how good girl you are dating, if you are not responsible, if you are not committed, and there's, there's someone else who is committed, of course, not that she is selfish, but she wants the best for herself. So like, um, when, when do you think people should write um, the checklist? Is it when they are, like, you know some people now, um, they have their own checklist since when they were in secondary school, and they've been holding on to that checklist. Yeah. So when do you think is the right yes. time to write like your checklist for yourself? I think I think the right time to have a checklist is when when you are fully understand yourself. When you are fully understand who you are and what you, you know. Sometimes many you don't really know what they want. Sometimes mm -hmm. that's why you see them jumping from one lead to the other, jumping from that 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 get rubbish. Ah, that get shit. You need to understand the differences that exist between yes and no. Then uh, you need to understand that. It must, it must have been well developed psychologically, physically. It's not a matter of, uh, it's not a matter of uh, intellectual, intellectual quotient this time around. You must at least build yourself with level of emotional quotient. So when you have that, then it's very easy for you to have a checklist of anything yeah. you want to have a relationship.
Yeah, I like that. I like that because I don't think there's a particular time like old age or something. It's just when you're grown, when you you are sure that you're yeah, grown. Yeah. And actually, you can actually uh, modify your checklist the more you grow. You understand? Because one one thing that I might like maybe this year, maybe because of my level of growth, will be different from what I'm going to like next year. And you don't have to hold on to what you have like last year. Yeah. And yeah, so the the more you grow, um, the more you check, edit. It's your life, anyways. So. And you can add to it, you can delete from it, you can edit it and update it actually. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm very sure to forget to learn from this. And yeah, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs> oh my god.